Mm. This is some real right here. This is some real, real. My hair is matted. I just got back from New Orleans this morning and my hair is matted. Like, look at that. It's so tight and matted right now. And I mean, look at the back. The back looks like a TWA is so matted. Like, it's not, it's not doing nothing. So, I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to do to unmat my hair, basically. And the reason why my hair is matted completely is because I was not doing my night routine when I was out of town. I was out of town from, I left here Tuesday night and went to Raleigh. Um, and then I went to the airport on Wednesday and I just got back in the middle of the night today, which is Tuesday. So I was gone for seven days, but, um, I was gone and I just did not have a nighttime routine. My nighttime routine, I will, I have several videos. I will link my two latest ones at this point And in another like 10 seconds, I'll go ahead and link the other one. But basically at night, every single night I sleep on a silk pillowcase and I go through and I just have my hair sitting up. So I'll either do it in mini buns or I'll do it in one big little thing. So when I lay down, this is up. It's not touching the pillow. But on this particular trip, I did not pack my uh, silk pillowcase and I didn't pack anything to do mini buns. So every time I lay down, it was just like this. <laughs> so I'm going to show you guys how I'm about to tackle this mess. I'm actually kind of going to wing it. Um, I know what I want to use, but we'll see what I end up going to use. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm starting off with the Myel Organics new Hawaiian ginger pre-poo. I'm working in small sections first and foremost. Normally I do four sections, but I'm going to be doing six and then working in those sections by splitting them in half. So really 12 sections, but they're gonna be six clumps. And I'm gonna go ahead and wet my hair first, then apply the product, and then I'm gonna let it sit for a few minutes so we can really soften up my hair. Then I'm gonna come back and try to detangle it. So I went ahead and let it absorb for a sec and it really softened my hair up before I started manipulating it because my hair was so dry and tangled y'all. It was, it was kind of embarrassing. So I'm going to start off finger detangling first and any knots I have, I can try to get rid of those gently because I feel like when I hit knots with a comb, it's just way too rough. Like sometimes it makes the knot tighter and I feel like it causes breakage. So I normally use the Moisture Miracle Aloe Gel Pre-Poo by African Pride. That's been like a natural favorite this year. But I wanted to go ahead and put this Myel's new collection, their Pre-Poo to the test. So after I finger detangle, I did go through and use my Tangle Teaser brush. It's important to use detangling brushes suitable for your texture. So some people do like the wide tooth comb, the dimming brush, a wet brush. Some people, a lot of naturals actually like that Felicia Leatherwood brush, but I haven't used it so I can't speak on it. But you wanna find something that glides through your hair without ripping through it. And for me, the finger detangling, wide tooth combs, and the tangle teaser do that for me. And if I find a knot um, while I'm going through with my brush, I stop and undo that with my fingers. But yeah, y'all, that's how I go through and tackle knots and matting. So this is an overnight pre-shampoo, but like I said in my full review, I don't know about leaving in conditioners overnight unless you have like constantly and severely dry hair because there is a such thing as too much moisture and it's called high growth fatigue and it can make your hair limp and mushy and weak, which makes your curls look sad and prone to breakage. So some tips that I have to mention, if your hair is matted, the key thing is you got to find something to soften it up before doing anything like that's including shampooing if your hair is matted do not wash it before you undo the mats because running that water and that shampoo is only gonna make it worse and you're gonna be in for a sad day other tips is to start from your ends and work your way up and go all the way up to the roots you need to detangle from the ends to the roots oftentimes as naturals we neglect our roots but if your hair is matted or gets tangled all the time you need to thoroughly detangle all the way up to the roots 
then on top of that you if you have any kind of resistance when you're using your like brush or your comb stop go back down to the bottom and start from the ends again so if you're going to the ends you get midway through you got a tangle go back to the ends and start back up again until you get that tangles out and do not rip through knots you will get breakage and all that harshness could damage your curl pattern from that pulling also most importantly do not be tangled dry hair because it can break off add some water or moisture to it and go from there So I only kept this in for four hours and guess what? Slap the wig on over these little funky twists because I had things to do. I tell everybody, get you a wig so you can deep condition or wait for your hair to dry while you got your twist in and you're not confined to the house girl. And this is four hours later. I done did me a little workout and I went and ran some errands and look at how soft my hair looks. It's shiny now, it doesn't look so dull. My blue looks rich again. And it's just, oh, it just feels so good and it just looks so good. So that Moisture RX pre-shampoo is definitely, definitely a hit in my book. It bumped its way right up to that African Pride uh, pre-poo, aloe pre-poo gel, whatever it's called. It bumped its way right up to that. Well, now that it's all detangled, I guess I'll show you guys the rest of my wash day since you're already here. So I'm going to be using this moisturizing shampoo by Ajua Beauty. And it actually comes out creamy and then lathers up on wet hair. And I'm going back into my four sections. I wash my hair in four sections to keep the tangles reduced. And it's just easier to manage and make sure I thoroughly wash my whole head. And because y'all know when we go through and like right after some braids or just you, your hair is really tangled and then you washed it and it tangles right back up. I hate that, but it happens. I don't know why it happens, but I really think it has something to do with the type of shampoo because some shampoos clarify and open the cuticles, which cause tangling. So I rinsed it out and I was going to deep condition, but my hair feels really soft. Plus I use that pre-poo or pre-shampoo. I'm so tongue tied y'all today. Excuse me. I use that pre-shampoo conditioner from Myel. So I'm just going to go ahead now and jump to the leave-in conditioner by Audra Beauty. And I hope I'm saying that right. It's a black brand. I actually found out about them when I watched the owner and another YouTuber named Ev Ebony with a V. They were responding to that video I did on black hair brands and the owner was just dropping knowledge. So I had to go check her out. She's worked with major retailers and brands and she launched her own product. So I was definitely interested to see what her product was like. And it's good. This is my second time using it and I like it a lot. But anyway, I'm just finger detangling with this leave-in and twisting my hair because I'm gonna slap a wig on again. I wanna wear my hair out, but the powers that be are hating on my blue hair, y'all. It's 2019 and people still practicing hair discrimination. It really sucks. But mind you, my hair has been blue since November and it's now July. All of a sudden it's become a distraction. That's total bullshit. But anyway, I just went ahead twisting my hair up, slapped that wig on so I don't have to cuss nobody out later. And that's it, y'all. So I hope this video has been helpful. If you're watching this and your hair is currently matted, good luck and be careful and be patient, y'all. To prevent mats, make sure you are protecting your hair at night. I sleep on a satin pillow and keep my hair pushed up so it's not being laid on. Make sure you guys are thoroughly detangling all the way to the roots, starting at the ends. And go ahead and make sure your ends are clipped and healthy. That, that causes tangles, which can lead to matting. And yeah, that's it. Just, you know, it's not that hard to prevent matting. You just got to do preventative things to avoid situations like these, which I didn't do while I was living my best life in New Orleans. But that's it, y'all. Let me know what other videos you guys want to see. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.